Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Apple Phenom, and this is going to be my second video about my Dell Mini 10V, which was just recently unboxed. Um, what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is how to install um, Mac OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard on a Dell Mini 10V. I'm going to shut this computer down, and I'm going to take you through the processes first. Stop right there. Before you shut down that Dell Mini 10V, there are a couple of steps that you need to do before you can even install Snow Leopard on this wonderful little machine. Okay, you first need to get yourself a copy of Snow Leopard from somewhere, preferably the Apple Store. And you also need to get yourself a Mac with at least Leopard 10.5 on it. Step 2. Pop your copy of Snow Leopard into an optical drive of some, some kind that can read DVDs on your Mac. And you will need to open up Disk Utility on your Mac. Another thing that you need to buy, or if you haven't already got one, is a USB drive, no lower than 8GB. I will be using my external hard drive, which works, gr which works great, which I have found. Once you are in Disk Utility, Go to your go to the USB drive you are going to put Snow Leopard on and go to the partition tab in Disk Utility and select one partition. Once you have done that, go to options and make sure that master boot record is selected. And then press apply and let the drive format itself. Warning, this will erase everything on that particular drive, so make sure that everything precious and dear to you is backed up. Step 3. Once that has been formatted, go to the Restore tab in Disk Utility and do the following. Drag your copy of Snow Leopard to the area where it says Source. Then drag the drive that you are going to put Snow Leopard on into the area where it says Destination. Once you have everything looking just like the pretty picture, press the restore button. This could take up to anywhere near two hours, so get up and be active, ride a bike, swim, run, or be lazy, and watch two hours of television, and gain two pounds in two hours on potato chips and salsa, like the rest of America does. It's your choice. Step 3. Patching the Snow Leopard Drive. The final step to making your Snow Leopard drive bootable on your netbook. This is the final download you will need to do and it is the most important in the process. You need to download a great little program called Netbook Boot Maker. You must make sure to download version 0.8.3 and it says alpha on it. Alpha means it is still in the developer testing stage and it works just fine. Open it up, select the drive that has Snow Leopard on it, and make sure that you aren't patching your CD. Select the drive and press Prepare Boot Drive. And it works like magic, and it makes, bo makes it bootable in less than five minutes. Now back to the video. Why don't we shut the computer down? And make sure you have everything backed up before you do this. So now it's off. And what you want to do is plug in the flash drive, or whatever you have, and turn it back on. And when you're doing this, when you're turning it on, you have to press F2. So, you turn it on, and hold down F2. So now, it's going to boot into the F2, to the BIOS. So as you can see here, you have the BIOS. Let me zoom in. Okay, so you want to make sure that everything's correct. You want to make sure that you have um, the correct boot maker and you want to go which is 0 0.8.3 which I've already said before you want to go to advanced and make sure that all of these are enabled. It doesn't matter if you have Bluetooth I'm just going to turn it off now because it's not necessary because I don't have Bluetooth and everything else has to be enabled including USB wake support and USB BIOS legacy support which enables um, USB booting. So now I'm gonna go over to the boot and make sure that USB storage is at the top of the list. So scroll down and make sure that it's highlighted with white on USB storage. 
And now you want to press F6 to move it up in the list. Hi, uh, press enter to make sure that your hard drive is there. Okay, now to save it, press F10 and then press yes. And now it's going to boot into the installer. Now it's going to it's loading the OSX install DVD. The first um, boot of the installer takes a while. But as you can see here, it has the uh, Apple logo, and that means it's working. Okay, as you can see here, we're back at the OS. We're into now the OSX installer, and now here it's asking me to pick my language. And obviously I'm going to use English for the main language. Okay, now the first thing that you want to do is to format the hard drive correctly. You want to go to Disk Utility. And it'll load up here, and there'll be a couple partitions here. And you want to go to the top of there, and there should be only one hard drive except for your removable one, which has the OSX installed DVD. You want to go to Partition, One Partition, Go to Options and make sure that it's a GUID partition table and then press OK. And then name it and then press Apply and that will just format your drive. You will lose everything from this point on. Now I'm going to press Apply, Goodbye Windows and as you can see here partition complete. It should say the name of your partition, see Macintosh HD right there and just quit the disk utility. And now press continue, agree to the license or EULA, and install it to the Macintosh HD. But once that's done, uh, it should take about an hour to an hour and a half. So I'll come back when it's done installing. Okay, hey, what's up? We're back, and um, it has completed the install, and it'll restart in one second. First boot, um, whatever takes a little bit about this netbook. There's the food first boot. It does that every time because it's loading from the Chameleon. Um, it's a modded Chameleon uh, bootloader. Okay, and that took just about five minutes or four minutes. And here is the boot uh, video. Just like a new Mac. Okay, and here we are at the uh, the welcome screen. We just turned on the volume here. Okay, and now I'm going to set it up, and when I'm done setting it up, I will come back. 